What's up with it, Raider Nation? It's your boy, Raider Honcho, and I'm back with a brand new video for you. Alright guys, get right into it. You already know the vibes. You already know what type of time I'm on. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, well damn. Subscribe to the channel. Also hit me up on Instagram and Twitter, both at Raider Honcho. And don't forget to check out RedemptionBrand.com right now. Pick you up some of that fire merch. So, the Raiders get the dub yesterday. The Raiders beat the New England Patriots. The Raiders did what I thought they was going to do, which is beat the New England Patriots. Now, wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. It was a little tougher than I thought it was going to be, and it wasn't pretty at all. But first and foremost, I want to start right there. I want to talk to the small demographic, the small segment, the small area of Raider Nation, particularly on Twitter. I call it Raider Twitter Nation. I want to talk to that small group of individuals that seems to be complaining about the victory. Listen, man. We cannot be on Twitter arguing with each other about what's a good win and what's a bad win. A win is a win. They do not ask you how, they ask you if. It does not matter how you win. You just have to win the game. That's what we play for. You play to win the game. Shout out to Herm Edwards. Some people said I'm going to look like Herm Edwards when I'm like 60 years old. I don't know if that's a compliment or not, but it is what it is. I can't change the way I look, baby. Um, I think the Raiders... As an organization and as a fan base, need to just be excited about victories, right? We could easily have lost those games. We could easily have blown that game yesterday to the uh, Patriots, and we didn't. So no matter how pretty it is or how pretty it isn't, or if we win by one point, win by 21 points, it doesn't matter. We have to win games. So to that small negative uh, department and section and uh, just the, the, the small, the, 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 shut the hell up, man. Just shut the hell up. I'm so sick and tired of the, the degenerate fan base section that seems to complain about everything, man. And, and the second part of the people I want to talk to before I even get into breaking down any of this game is the other section. So you got the small section that's mad that we won. But then you got the other small section that don't know a damn thing about football. I wrote it on Twitter. Blue check poppy has spoken, okay? I will reiterate the same sentiments right here, right now, okay? Half of y'all wanted Jimmy Garoppolo and said Jimmy Garoppolo was an upgrade from Derek Carr. Now, you see Jimmy Garoppolo in person, and you don't want him anymore. You want him to get benched, okay? You want AOC to play. Put in the rookie. Put in the rookie. The rookie goes out there against the Chargers, who has a tough front seven, and he plays a pretty damn good football game. You guys want to get rid of him. You're already talking about who we're going to draft in the first round next year. And then... You don't have either one of them as an option. So now when Jimmy Garoppolo gets hurt, Brian Hoyer has to come in the game. The person that y'all complained about all offseason, why is he even on the team? He should be cut. He should be inactive. Well, he actually came in and played a pretty damn good football game. He actually put the ball where he needed to go. He didn't make anything worse. He held on and sealed the victory for the Raiders. And I feel like that just goes to show that most of y'all out there with these apps that talk so much crap about Raiders and football this and football that, you don't know a damn thing about the sport. You don't know a damn thing about any of what you're talking about. You are just talking to hear yourself talk at this point. I'm not even talking about YouTubers or content creators. I'm talking about anybody in general. Half of y'all don't know a damn thing about the sport and about football. And we can continue to go on, just like some of y'all that wanted to cut Trayvon Merrick. Now look, he's one of the better safeties in the NFL right now if you just look at the numbers. But again, half the people that wanted to get rid of Trayvon Merrick don't know a damn thing about football. They don't know the difference between split field coverage. They don't know how to roll a safety. They don't know how to, to to, to move a three tech to the strength or to the uh, to the weak side, you don't know anything about quarters coverage, match quarters coverage, man coverage, safety over the top. You don't have no idea how a four two five and a four three is different. You don't know the difference between a nickel corner and a nickel safety and a nickel linebacker. But y'all want to talk so much and be so loud, but you don't know a damn thing about football. So just like. The one section that, that just wants to be mad that we win, and then the other section that wants to just hate every quarterback we have, and then the other section that don't know a damn thing about football, all three, all three, all three of those sections, shut the hell up. I only want to talk now to the section that has a competent, fully functional brain, to just the fans out there, to the people that just root for the Raiders and support the Raiders, to the people that know when it's time to let other people do the talking because you don't know much about the situation. I'm talking to y'all now. The Raiders got the victory, and I'm going to break down some of the takeaways I got from that game. Number one, Josh McDaniels doesn't seem to be a very good damn head coach. Number two, the Raiders defense is playing much better than anybody could expect. I would not have expected the Raiders defense to be carrying the way they're carrying 
right now, but damn it, they are. And I don't want to hear, well, it's only the Patriots and it was Mac Jones and it's Jordan Love. I don't care about none of that. You only can play the people they put in front of you. And the Raiders' defense, regardless of who we're playing, the style in which they're playing is improving. The speed in which they're playing is improving. The aggression in which they're playing with is improving. That shows me that they're getting a lot more comfortable in the system. That shows me that they're, they're knowing their assignments and they're being able to get there faster. Um, we're starting to create some turnovers. Um, defensive line is getting a little bit of pressure. We're, we're just playing well as a defense right now. I don't care who we're playing. I'm starting to see positive signs from that defense, okay? Outside of that, Jimmy Garoppolo. He just doesn't do it for me, man. I, I'm just not impressed with Jimmy Garoppolo. I was impressed after game one, week one. I thought he played very well, but now that he's been getting hit, he's been getting hit a little bit more than he likes to be getting hit. He doesn't look very good, man. He doesn't look very good. I don't know the deal about AOC, but I do feel like Brian Horry came in there and played a pretty good damn football game. So, when breaking down the game, I just feel like it was a good win for the Raiders because a normal Raiders team probably blows that game, especially having to go to the second string quarterback. Um, and, you know, we're going against Belichick in the Patriot way, which I told y'all doesn't really exist. The Patriot way is Tom Brady, point blank, period. I think yesterday showed that. The fact that Josh McDaniels is probably undefeated against Bill Belichick shows me that there is no Patriot way. It's just Tom Brady. Um, and I just, I'm just... I'm happy that the Raiders are just looking like a formidable team out there. I know we're going to struggle against better teams. We're going to struggle, especially if we can't get Devontae Adams involved. And, and I know some people made some comments on my Twitter about, you know, stop cheering for one guy. And it's not that I'm cheering for one guy. I just know in order for us to beat the better teams, the upper echelon teams, we have to have a better game plan. We have to have, have more of a cohesive offense. And right now, still we're still struggling to find our identity. I think last year we were a run-heavy team. You could play action. You could stretch the field. This year, without a quarterback who could really stretch the field, you're getting seeing a lot more, uh, you know, seven, eight-man fronts. Uh, they're going to bracket Devontae Adams, but it's like a fake bracket because they know you're not going to throw it to him if you have two guys over there. So they'll just show you two and then roll over to the other side that they know you're going to throw the ball to. So I think we have to force Devontae Adams the ball at some point. It just is what it is. Like basketball players are going to take tough shots. Quarterbacks have to make tough throws to their star players. You got to give them a chance. It, it just is what it is. Um, so I think the whole Jacoby Myers getting every target is just not a good look for us. Because I think other teams are allowing you to do that. They're going to say, all right, we'll let you try to beat us with Jacoby Myers. And it's not going to happen. So I just feel like offensively, we're just really struggling. I think defensively, we're carrying right now. Um, I don't think that's going to be able to hold up against the better teams in the NFL. But it is where we are right now. And it got us the job, uh, got the job done the last two games. Uh, but our offense has to play much better. We have to play much more fast. We have to play with, with much more urgency and consistency. Uh, even in the play call, I just don't like the play call. And everything just looks very vanilla to me. I don't know if he's saving the playbook for the playoffs. I don't know what he's doing. But it just doesn't look very impressive. It doesn't look like we're going to put up enough points to beat a lot of teams. I mean, it's the first time we've gone over 20 points this season. And honestly, that's because Max Crosby and the defense forced a safety. Um, so outside of that, we're still not scoring enough points for me to be comfortable with us competing with the upper echelon teams in the NFL, even the AFC for that matter. But I do like what the defense is doing. I do feel like the defense is still a few pieces away from being a legit defense. But right now, you can see that they're making strides. You can see that they're starting to put the pieces together. The, the same weaknesses we had before the draft are the same ones we have now. No interior line help. Uh, we don't, we're don't. we not great at the linebacker position. And our secondary is missing a shutdown corner or a number one corner. I like Marcus Peters, but I told y'all when we got him, he wasn't going to be the Marcus Peters of old. He used to be a great player he's no longer a great player he's a good football player but it's just not going to be enough when you're playing the the upper echelon wide receivers of the AFC and the NFL so in order for us to be a real contender not a pretender we've got to get more pieces but I am happy where we are right now we're, we're 500 we're three and three and it could be way worse so you take the good with the bad and you know what I mean you take everything with a grain of salt and you keep it moving I like what the defense is doing I think the offense looks pathetic I think Josh McDaniels has to uh, look in the mirror and hold himself accountable and stop pointing fingers and kind of take some of the onus on him to just be a better play caller, better situational play caller. Running out the clock and kicking field goals is the same thing we were mad at Derek Carr and John Gruden for doing. And all of a sudden, that seems to be the Raiders' identity. Like, we're not, it's not even like the Raiders, it's not my issue is that the Raiders aren't scoring a lot of points. It feels like the Raiders aren't even trying to score a lot of points. It feels like the Raiders are just content with going out there and kicking as bunch of field goals as they can and trying to let our defense win us the game, which is not going to be a winning recipe. It's worked so far against some of the bottom feeder teams but it's not going to be a, a, a long term uh, recipe for success so get down in the comments let me know what you guys think about the game how you feeling about it you're positive you're negative i actually don't want to hear if you're negative just get down in the comments man let me know what you think if you like the video like the video if you like the content on this channel subscribe to the channel hit me up on instagram and twitter both at Raider honcho blue check poppy is in the building hit up redemptionbrand.com right now get you some of that fire merch until next time as always with a honcho out